Hello everyone, welcome to part 206 of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So uh, let's review the points once and uh, see which list we have done. So we can move the wish list point to here and now the next point is cancel order process. So we will start working on the cancel order process, cancel order functionality for our e-commerce website. Okay, so what is cancel order exactly? Whenever the user place any order in any of the e-commerce website, then the user may uh, want to cancel it as well. User uh, may think that the order is not correct. Order is uh, not uh, the one that he wants to order. Okay, so uh, so that functionality we need to add that functionality in our e-commerce website. So first of all, we are going to review, review the Amazon website. Okay, in Amazon website, I used to make lot of purchases in amazon website so uh, see here uh, like if we will go to orders here see these are the orders uh, that uh, i have uh, placed in amazon and suppose if we want to cancel the order see these are the orders and here you can see this is the latest order of the t-shirt and i want to cancel this order so i will click on uh, cancel item okay so this is the button here in amazon so we are going to make the similar kind of functionality for our e-commerce website that's why i am uh, telling you about amazon so see we will go going to click on this cancel item i'm going to show you that how uh, we uh, how the cancel functionality works in amazon so the, so that it will it will help in our e-commerce website as well okay so here you can see the reason for cancellation uh, order created by mistake item would not arrive on time shipping cost too high item price too high uh, found cheaper somewhere else need to change shipping address so these are the reasons if we want to give the reason we uh, we can give the reason to the uh, see uh, uh, the customer can fill the reason that why they want to cancel the order okay so i will do order uh, order created by mistake okay so this is the reason i am going to select here okay so there are a number of reasons so i am going to select this reason here and after that i am going to click on cancel selected items in this order so i am going to click on this uh, link so let's click on this link and uh, see what will happen see the order has been cancelled so it is the very simple process they will just ask you the reason for the cancellation and after clicking on the cancel button your order will get cancelled so this is the very simple process see you will just go to the uh, your orders okay by going to the your orders uh, you will just click on that uh, uh, that cancel button for the cancelling the order okay and after that you can able to cancel see the order is gone away at all okay you can see the order is gone away so uh, see we will show the status as the cancelled okay so this is the amazon website for you where you can able to cancel the order okay you now come to know that how the amazon gives us the feature to cancel the order so the similar kind of feature feature we are going to add for our e-commerce website okay so in the first step uh we will partial uh we will do something uh like uh, without reason we are going to add the functionality and after that we will add the reason as well so uh let's start working on this functionality so we are going to log in uh here uh with our id like i mean at the rate of uopmail.com and password is one two three four five six so here by going here we can go in my account okay so uh, sorry in orders we can go in order you can see the last order detail view details okay so this is the last order and we want the cancel order button here but we will check that the uh, whether the order is new or not see cancel order functionality is just for the new orders it's not for the old orders or any updated orders not for the shipped orders okay not for the orders in process okay so see if you will uh, if you will uh, add the third party shipment like i have done i have shown you the third party shipment okay then uh, see just logging into the admin panel so here you will go to the orders and you can see here it's the status is new and new status is fine uh for uh for showing there okay so you need to update the status like if you are going to uh going to process this order then you are going to uh, update the status to in process 
see this is the manual way okay so in the past we have integrated the shipping partner as well and when you implement the shipping partner then the status will update automatically okay so whenever the status is new it means the order is new order is newly placed so uh, that link will appear for those order to cancel the order but once the orders is in in transit or order is shipped then uh, it's your cho uh, choice that you want to give the cancel button or not okay so see uh, i'm going to give the cancel button only for the new status and i'm not going to give the cancel status uh, cancel button for all the other status okay so it's your wish it's the client wish that uh, where uh, they want to give the cancel button okay like i have shown you in amazon my order is new so i can simply cancel it straight away okay so it is very easy so here uh, so i am going to show you uh, first of all we are going to add the cancel button and for that i will open order details bit file so let's open order details bit file and here in front okay not open at admin open at front and we are going to create here somewhere okay so i am going to create here something here okay so i am going to uh, have one span here and in span i am going to show here cancel order okay cancel order simple one and in cancel order we are going to give one button also so let's give one button here okay so button i am going to close here after cancel order i am going to close the button here okay so this is some kind of design kind of thing you need to do here uh, so type uh, we are going to use the button uh, this is not the submit type is not required so class we are going to give here button and uh, block okay so this is the class that we are going to give that our template supports okay so i'm going to check it once that how it looks but we want here somewhere okay so i will give the uh, style here float i'm going to give see i am doing inline css but you can do all this in your css file okay so like this uh, so i'm going to refresh see now it seems to be fine so cancel order is here okay so at the right side okay so you can give the cancel order uh, whenever the order status is new okay so this thing but before that one more thing the, uh, that this cancel order uh, we want here one check like if the user will click on this cancel order it will ask that uh, ask the user to confirm uh, want to cancel this order okay so it will confirm the user once once uh, the user will click on ok then it will cancel the order otherwise it it is not going to do anything ok if the user click on cancel so one check we are going to add here jquery in jquery ok uh, but uh, before that uh, we are going to add the link as well ok no issue we will link add link later uh, so one uh, class we are going to add here and that is button cancel order okay so so that uh, we can confirm the user that he actually want to cancel the order or click on the button by mistake okay so we are going to add somewhere wherever we want okay uh, like uh, we will see where are our, our, our delete buttons if delete card items delete wish list item here we can add the button like cancel order okay so we are going to add the jquery here document on click on click of the which class that class that we have given button uh, button cancel order class okay so this class we have given there and this will work on the click of the function okay so this one like this okay now fine now we are going to let me here take one result equal to we are going to confirm uh, from the user want to 
cancel this order okay so you want to cancel this order see here if uh, here see result uh, we will put here in result okay yeah it's fine so if result is not okay then return false so let's see now see our check is fine or not refresh cancel order want to cancel this order if i will click on cancel then it's okay it will not do anything if i will click on okay then it will process further but there is nothing to process right now uh, we have not done anything okay so we will add here link uh, one link href link we are going to add here uh, okay so like this and here we are going to add the link uh, for uh, here we are going to add some link like uh, that we will create uh, okay which kind of url we are going to create here uh, so let's open web.php file and here uh, we can check the order routes here this is at the end admin we will check the order route at the front okay these are the routes so we are going to uh, create the similar kind of route for the cancel as well okay so let's create it manually uh, user order cancel okay so this is uh, we are going to create the get route route get and we are going to create orders here then here we are going to add uh, id okay so id is fine and after that we are going to make it cancel okay so this is the right like we have done the naming convention of laravel so we need to follow the naming convention of laravel okay so earlier on we don't follow the naming convention but we need to follow the standards we need to follow the rules of laravel we need to follow the best practice of laravel okay so that uh, our code will look good anyone can any developer can use our code okay so uh, here uh, we will create the function order cancel function we are going to create in orders controller okay so in orders controller i'm going to create this function in orders controller uh, okay so i will create this function or oh, this is i think in admin but we want at the front orders controller here it is okay so here function i'm going to create uh, public function uh, here we are going to create order cancel okay so this is the function and we are going to uh, pass that id here uh, so first of all we are going to check uh, okay uh, that uh, dollar eco dollar id and i okay so let's uh, click on cancel order like if we we'll click on cancel order see if we will do cancel then nothing will happen if we will click on ok then it must go to that uh, it will must come to here okay so we are going to check once mm, okay so this url we need to give there okay we have not given any url so far uh, so this one you can see this one is empty we have not given any url so far so here we are going to give this url and uh, here instead of this one this id will come up here uh, so we are going to use uh, this one like this okay fine and uh, we are going to refresh now once again we we'll click on cancel order want to cancel this order okay so now it is going to 64 you can see like if we will click on cancel order we will cancel nothing will happen if we click on cancel order and click on ok then it will go to that cancel function okay so everything is fine up till here but now we will do one more check here that cancel order is only for the new orders it will it will it, it is not for the old order see here uh, if you will go to any other order any old order okay then again it, it will show you the cancel order so that is wrong okay so we will only show the cancel order for the new orders and for that we need to check the order status okay so one function we need to add here to check for the order status in order model so let's create that function uh, 
okay so that is necessary to create because otherwise we will not come to know uh, that uh, it, it, it is not fine if we will add the uh, cancel tab for all the orders okay so it's for the new orders only so here we will create one function here public static function uh, get order status okay so here dollar order id so here we are going to add get order status equal to we are going to get the status here order select we are just acquire the order status here order status fine so now uh, this order status uh, we can use this order status here so for that uh, we will uh, add here include here order as we have upgraded our project from laravel 6 to 7 and to laravel 8 so but this is the upgradation if you are say we started the project in laravel 8 then here models is required then uh, here if your models are in models folder then it will come like this okay so do remember this one every time i tell you this point because many of my friends who start the project in laravel 8 always get this issue okay so uh, do check your uh, see models that where uh, the model files are located okay so here get order status we need to get the order status from the order model get order status get order status from the id id we are having here this is the id so we can get the order status from the id like this okay so this is our order status so we are going to check like if order status is new only then we are going to show that uh, uh, see that tab okay where it is here it is okay so this tab we are only show when the order status is new get order status here uh, equal to equal to if it is equal to new then we are going to show this one otherwise we will not show okay like uh, if this one is right now it's new okay it's gone get order status let's see the status the current status refresh it and we're going to check the status is new here now let's see uh, this is the order id 65 uh, here the order status is new and uh, okay this is the order id 64 so that's why its status is, is not coming uh, and uh, see here uh, we see 65 id uh, this is the 65 id and uh, okay this account it belongs to some other person uh, this one is 64 and 64 is having the shift status okay so we are going to place the new order uh, whose status must be new okay because its status is in uh, shift so that's why the that uh, button not coming cancel order button is not coming okay so i'm going to place the order now one dummy order we can place place order okay so once okay uh, some email issue has come we need to update the app password to resolve this email issue i require to update this password okay if any such issue comes that it means the password i have recently updated my mail password so that's why this issue is coming so i am going to update my password then it will work fine okay 
so I have updated my app password so I am going to refresh it and we'll see that it must now uh, work fine or the email must go offline as well okay so uh, send so this order has been placed now we can check in admin for the new order see this is the cod order new status is new so we can check here now that uh, uh, that link cancel order button must come see cancel order button is coming so if we will update the status to like in process okay update then this cancel order button will go away okay uh, you can check here see cancel order button is gone okay so cancel order button comes if the order is new and after the cancel order button come we will confirm we will ask the user that the user want to cancel the order uh, okay user will confirm then only we are going to cancel the order okay so uh, let's uh, do it let's cancel the order now so uh, here I'm going to do uh, that functionality see here see we are going to update two things here uh, we are going to update here the orders table we are going to update the status of the order to the cancelled okay and the another thing see here the status you can see we will update the status to the cancelled and the another thing that we will do we will add that in logs as well this these are the logs so we need to add in logs as well that uh, uh, see order underscore logs table we need to update on the cancellation of the order here we need to update as well so two things we are going to do one is to cancel uh, we, we will update the order table and one we are going to update the uh, orders logs table okay so let's continue this one in next video uh, okay we will cancel the order and also we are going to show in admin panel okay so stay tuned for that for the next video and we will also add some security to this feature because uh, so that the another user will not add cancel uh, the order of the another user okay so that uh, to make it secure so uh, stay tuned for the next video we will continue thanks have a nice time goodbye